Jacksonville, called Grand Park area, you know. Uh, old house that we used to live in for a majority of uh, my childhood. And fond memories where I can, you know, I remember getting some news even about my dad. I was coming from down the street. It was raining that night and I can uh, remember getting the news that he had passed. So, you know, a lot of different life change and life altering events that really happened into this house. And, you know, me personally, it definitely did. I learned a lot of, about, you know, people and you know, how to interact with a lot of different people as well. So, deal with life, you know, by itself and a lot of I try to tell the kids, you know, to control what you can because you can't control what kind of environment you're born into. Uh, all you really can control is the things that you do, the things that you really can control, like getting up on time for school, going to school with a great attitude, you know, really doing everything that your teachers and your parents ask about you. The Mario Butler Foundation was created, you know, and my wife, she just pushed me so much to really get it off the ground, you know, because um, it was a lot of, you know, you're just scared to kind of get outside of your comfort zone, but when it, it comes to kids, you know, that's where, I, where we're really passionate about. So growing up in this area, inner city, I understand, you know, a lot of the, the challenges that the kids face. So, you know, growing up without a father, lower class, things of that nature, and I know what they're dealing with. So, you know, being able to provide just that resource for the kids, you know, whether it's, you know, the programs, scholarships, it's camps, just mentorships, whatever we really can do to really make an impact and help these kids, you know, very relatable and I understand what some of the kids are going through. They open up to me a little bit more. So, you know, just being able to have that comfort level with the kids, you know, is really important. So, you know, if it wasn't for my wife, you know, a lot of this wouldn't be possible because she helped, you know, push me to get everything off the ground as well as a host of other people as well. You know, they helped just get the vision to fruition and uh, I can't thank them enough for that. Uh, we're having our little all-star game uh, tonight. So that's the top 11 and 12 year olds from the Jacksonville area that will be able to compete in uh, a game you know, tonight. So I'm very excited about that. Just another opportunity we provide resources for the kids to come out and showcase their talent in front of a lot of people in Jacksonville that otherwise may not get a chance to see them. Hopefully I get a chance to meet all of them tonight. So you know, get a chance to take a couple pictures with them and uh, really get a chance to talk to them outside of just the basketball thing. It's crazy how this all started right here, man. Just to look at, you know, more than eight years old too, man. Just being able to uh, come out here. This is why I really got discovered by Coach Ram, man. I was eight years old coming up here. He asked me, did I want to play football? I told him. Yeah, I went home and told uh, my mom, my grandma that I wanted to play football. They told me no. Next day I was at practice. So uh, that's kind of funny how that happened. He kind of got me started, you know, in, into football, you know, and the uh, rest is kind of history from there. I got a lot of memories here, man. I remember we used to play basketball on this court every Sunday. So, you know, my brother used to be up here, so many other people, man. I always kind of tried to run with the big, big fellas. They always tried to tell me to just hold off, man. So. This is being able to just come back here and reflect. You know, the funny thing is I always I always try to make it here at least two to three times a year to even work out here because it just brings me back to just uh, such a humble. I want to give a quick congratulations to both of the teams for participating in the third So have our celebrity charity game, you know, that we're really excited about as well. You know, as always, we get better each and every year, you know, so we have the Giants participating, we have some NFL players participating, some local comedians, you know, so it's always exciting when you get a chance to be around people that just want to make a difference. And uh, that's the main thing, just being able to.
football camp, you know, a lot of kids are going to get a lot of hands-on instruction. You know, they're going to be learning about, you know, proper technique, you know, working a lot of footwork drills, things of that nature that's going to help them become a better a player on the field. In the Chilean camp, they're going to learn uh, the basic fundamentals of a lot of things that they do, you know. So uh, we have some of the top coaches from around Jacksonville area to help them uh, exceed in that area. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to come out, you know, better young women you know, than what they came in as. So we were able to have a lot of help through that. You know, a lot of positive people, a lot of people that have a lot of excitement and enthusiasm. Times when you put on these events, you know, it's it's a lot, a lot of time and a lot of effort, you know, without, you know, our great staff at the Mario Butler Foundation that puts in tremendous, tremendous uh, sweat and and a lot of different, you know, um, trying times and, you know, throughout the years, you know, but it, it's all worth it when you see the kids, you know, we have great partners that we, we're always partnering with that continue to support us in, uh, in our mission. Uh, providing resources for kids so you know we have great volunteers that continue to support us each and every year that you know ne nothing never goes unnoticed you know to have players that come from out of town that take time out of their busy schedule you know especially you know at the end of uh, training for uh, a lot of the players so they're getting ready to try to relax and get ready for the season so um, it's, it's a lot of different pieces to the puzzle but we thank everyone for continue to, to show support to the Mario Butler Foundation and helping us reach our goal which is to make an impact in kids lives.